the threefold blessing of the triune God for the dispensing of himself into man. The triune God as our blessing is dispensing himself into us by means of the love of God as the source, the grace of the Lord Jesus as the course, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit as the flow and transmission of the love of God with the grace of Christ. What a blessing it is to have the triune God being dispensed into us to be our life and life supply for our enjoyment so that we may be constituted and filled with the triune God. What other blessing could we ask for than God Himself? The entire Bible focuses on this one thing, God in His divine trinity dispensing Himself into His chosen and redeemed people to be their life, their life supply, and their everything so that they would build up the church as the body of Christ, prepare the bride of Christ, and consummate the new Jerusalem. This is the governing and controlling vision of the entire Bible. God's eternal economy. Everything that the Bible speaks of, including the history, the poetry, and the prophecies in the Old Testament, and the Gospels, the Book of Acts, the Epistles, and the Book of Revelation in the New Testament, has God's economy as its governing vision. God's eternal economy is the only thing on God's heart and the only matter that God cares for. He wants to carry out His economy, and He does it in His divine trinity by means of His divine dispensing. When we heard the Gospel and believed, we opened to this divine dispensing, and there was a flow of the riches of the triune God in our being. Now, day by day, we continue to be open to the Lord to receive His divine dispensing. It is so sad, however, to see that many Christians stopped being open to the Lord for high's dispensing and have rather focused on teachings, practices, doctrines, and outward things related to the Bible and the Church. There are many things that seem outward and necessary, and there are many doctrines and spiritual things in the Word of God, but there is only one governing vision, the vision of God's economy. When we see God's economy, when we realize that His intention is to dispense Himself into us to produce the Church as the body of Christ, prepare the Bride of Christ, and consummate the New Jerusalem, we will care for nothing else but this. When God gains a group of people who are constituted with Him and filled with what He is, He can obtain what He is after, the organic body of Christ, the organism of the triune God, for Him to have a corporate expression on the earth. May we be those who cooperate with the Lord for His move, His economy, so that we may bring Him back, close this age, and rule and reign with Him in the coming Kingdom of God. May we focus on nothing else but the eternal economy of God in which God became man to man eyes Himself so that He may make man God to God eyes us for Him to obtain a corporate expression in man consummating in the new Jerusalem. Seeing the threefold blessing of the triune God for the dispensing of Himself into man. May the Lord have mercy on us and unveil us to see the central line in the Bible, the governing vision in the Word of God. When we see a vision of God's economy and realize that His desire is to dispense Himself into man in His divine trinity, everything in the Bible will make sense. But without seeing such a vision, we will focus on minor and auxiliary matters in the Word of God, and it will be easy for us not to be one with our brothers and sisters, and even to make divisions in the body. There is a threefold blessing of the triune God for the dispensing of Himself into man seen both in the Old and in the New Testament. 2 Corinthians 13 14 is a good verse in the New Testament clearly saying that the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Paul concludes his second epistle to the Corinthians by blessing them with the divine dispensing of the divine trinity for their enjoyment. In the Old Testament we see the threefold blessing in Numbers 6 24-26, the blessing pronounced by the Levitical priesthood at the end of Num. 6. God wanted to bless His people and put His name upon them, so he commanded the priests to bless them with the triune God. Jehovah bless you and keep you can be ascribed to the Father, for the Father blesses us and keeps us. What a blessing it is for us to be blessed with the Father and to be kept by Him in the divine dispensing, and to be kept by the Father out of the evil one. Jehovah make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you can be ascribed to the Son, for Christ the Son came to shine on us as a great light, and He came as grace upon grace for us to enjoy Him. How enjoyable it is to contact the Lord Jesus and enjoy the grace of God embodied in and expressed through Christ. Jehovah lift up His countenance and give you peace can be ascribed to the Spirit, for the Spirit is happy with us or can be grieved by us, and the Spirit gives us peace. How wonderful it is for us to enjoy the Lord's smile and be filled with peace as we remain in our mingled spirit. Another portion speaking of the threefold blessing of the triune God for dispensing Himself into us is in PSA. 36-8-9. Here we see that we are being saturated with the fatness of God's house, Christ is the fatness of God's house, for this fatness refers to the fatty ashes of the offerings, which offerings is Christ. God saturates us with all the riches of Christ, and He does this in His house, the church. What a blessing! God makes us to drink of the river of His pleasures, referring to the Spirit as the river of water of life flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb. When we drink of the Spirit that flows from Christ, He waters us, we are filled with Edens, pleasures, and there is a fountain of life springing up in us, 
flowing out to water others also, John 4:14. 4, With you is the fountain of life, in your light, we see light can be ascribed to the Father, for He is the source, the fountain of life, and when we walk in His light, we have real light. Hallelujah, the Father is the source of life, and He flows as a fountain to reach us. Praise the Lord, God the Father not only dwells in unapproachable light but also shines on us in the Son and through the Spirit so that we may walk in His light. What a blessing it is for us to be saturated with Christ as the fatness of God's house, drink the Spirit as the river of God's pleasures, and come to the fountain of life and walk in the divine light. May we be unveiled not only to see this vision of the threefold blessing of God for the dispensing of God into man but also to enjoy the divine dispensing of the divine trinity into us. May our seeing bring us into the enjoyment and experience of the triune God in His divine trinity. Lord Jesus, we love You and we open to the threefold blessing of God for the dispensing of the triune God into us. Father, bless us and keep us. Lord Jesus, make Your face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. Holy Spirit, lift up Your countenance upon us and give us peace. O triune God, keep us in the divine dispensing of the divine trinity all the days of our life for us to enjoy Your blessing, Your grace, and Your peace. Amen, Lord, saturate us with the fatness of your house. Cause us to drink of the river of your pleasures. With you is the fountain of life, we come to you to receive life and walk in light, for in your light we see light. Amen, Lord Jesus, keep our whole being open to the divine dispensing of the divine trinity into us today so that we may be saturated with Christ, drink of the Spirit, and touch the Father as the fountain of life and light. Our real blessing is Christ as grace, God as love, and the Spirit as fellowship, the threefold blessing of the triune God for our enjoyment and experience. The eternal blessing of the triune God seen in Num. 6 is wonderful and inspiring, but it is not as high and applicable as the threefold blessing of the triune God in 2 Corinthians 13 14. What we have in 2 Corinthians 13 14 is not only God keeping us, Christ being gracious to us, and the Spirit giving us peace, but the divine dispensing of the divine Trinity into us for our enjoyment. As a conclusion to his second epistle to the distracted and confused, yet encouraged and restored Corinthian believers, Paul blesses them with the threefold blessing of the triune God for their enjoyment. There is nothing doctrinal or outward about Paul's blessing in this verse. Rather, what we see here is that the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit is with us all. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ is mentioned first because this book is on the grace of Christ, see 2 Corinthians 1:12, 4:15, 6-1, 8-1, 9, 9-8, 14. 12 to 9. The grace of the Lord is not something that He gives us but He Himself, it is the Lord Himself as life to us for our enjoyment, John 1:17, 1, 1 Corinthians 15:10. The love of God is not only something that God gives us as love, it is God Himself as love, 1 John 4 8, 16, the source of the grace of the Lord. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit is not something that He would give us apart from Himself, it is the Spirit Himself as the transmission of the grace of the Lord with the love of God for our participation. Our real blessing is not merely something that God gives us or does for us, it is the threefold blessing of the triune God, the Father, the Son, and the Spirit dispensing Himself into us in His divine trinity for our enjoyment. What we have as a blessing from God is not merely something outward that He gives us or He does for us, it is Himself in His divine trinity being dispensed into us. The New Testament blessing is the real blessing of the triune God Himself. This blessing is threefold, the Father blesses us, the Son blesses us, and the Spirit blesses us. The Father is love as the source, the Son is the grace as the course or springing up of the love of God, and the Spirit is the flow of the love of God with the grace of Christ to reach us for our enjoyment. With love as the source, grace as the course, and fellowship as the transmission and reaching out, the triune God reaches us in His divine trinity to be our life, our life supply, and our enjoyment. Now we have a practical way to enjoy the triune God all day long, simply by opening to highest divine dispensing. These three, the love of God, the grace of Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, are not three separate matters, they are three aspects of one thing. Just as the Lord, God, and the Holy Spirit are not three separate gods but three hypostases of the one same undivided and indivisible God, see Philip Schaff, so the love of God, the grace of Christ, and the fellowship of the Spirit are three aspects of the divine dispensing of the divine trinity. God the Father is the source, His love is the source, for He is the origin, the fountain, the source. The grace of the Lord is the course of the love of God, for grace is the coming of God to us for our enjoyment to be our everything, and the Lord is the expression of God. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit is the impartation of the grace of the Lord with the love of God, for the Spirit is the transmission of the Lord with God for our experience and enjoyment. May we read and pray, pray and read, prayerfully read, 
and muse with much prayer upon this wonderful verse in 2 Corinthians 13 14 so that we may not only understand it or enjoy it but remain under the divine dispensing of the divine trinity as our real blessing. May we enjoy and partake of the threefold blessing of the triune God in our daily life as we open to Him and contact Him to enjoy the Father as love, the Son as grace, and the Spirit as fellowship. Hallelujah for the threefold blessing of the triune God for the dispensing of God into us. Praise the Lord, the love of God, the grace of Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit is with us for our enjoyment and experience today to be our life and life supply. We open to your divine dispensing, Lord, and we want to enjoy your love, your grace, and your fellowship. Thank you for reaching us in the Spirit to bring the love of God and the grace of Christ to us. Keep us open to the Spirit's transmission of all that God is and all that Christ has accomplished for our enjoyment in our daily life. We take you, Lord, as our life for our enjoyment. We come to you, Father, to enjoy you as love and light. Flow into us and out of us, Spirit, to infuse what God is and what Christ has accomplished into our being. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all.